This video shows you how to find a vector product in component form. In particular, how to find a vector product using 3x3 three three determinant. Suppose I have vector A is A1i plus A2j plus A3k and B is B1i plus B2j plus B3k. Then A cross B will be a1i plus a2j plus a3k cross b1i plus b2j plus b3k. Using the distributed law, we know we get a1i cross b1i plus b2j plus b3k plus a2j cross b1i plus b2j plus b3k plus a3k cross b1i plus b2j plus b3k. Then we we'll use the distributed law again we get all together nine terms. For example, the first term is equal to zero because i cross i is equal to zero. And for example, a to j cross b to j will be zero since j cross j is zero. And for example, a three k cross b three k will be zero since k cross k is zero. Then about uh, how about the second term i cross j? So you can use i cross j is equal to k and you can use j cross i equal to minus k you can use j cross k equal to i And you can also use k cross j equal to minus i. You can use k cross i equal to j. And you can use i cross k equal to minus j. Then put them all together, you'll get a1 a2k minus a1 b3j and minus a2 b1k plus a2 b3i plus a3 b1j minus a3 b2i. And group them together in ijk, you can write in a short form as a 3x3 three three determinant ijk where a1, A2, A3 is on the second row and B1, B2, B3 in the third row. So in short, whenever you have A and B in terms of IJK, you can write A cross B as a 3x3 three three determinant with IJK in the first row, A1, A2, A3 in the second row, B1, B2, B3 in the third row. For computational purpose, we use this. Maybe you have forgotten how to find determinants. So for a 2 by 2 determinants, so A, B, C, D, we know a 2 by 2 determinant is A, D minus B, C. For example, determinant 1, 2, 3, 4 is actually 1 times 4 minus 2 times 3 is 4 minus 6 equal to minus 2 because this is how you multiply them you multiply 1 times 4 then minus 2 times 3 now how about 3 by 3 determinant for 3 by 3 determinant say I have say 1 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 how do we find this 3 by 3 determinant? For the first row, the entry are 1, 0, 1. So I take 1, 0, 1. So after I have 1, 0, 1 in my first row, then I cross out. For example, I will try to cross out first row, first column. I have 3, 4, 1, 2. So I can write a 2 by 2 determinant, 3, 4, 1, 2, together to the first row first column element 
then I minus zero times now I'm zero in the first row, second column. So I cross out the first row, cross out second column. I left with two four zero two. I write two four zero two associate with the first row, second column zero. Then plus first row that column is one so at one times determinant of striking out first row that column I get two three zero one two three zero one then from here on now on is two by two determinant so I can use calculate the two by two three times two is six 4 times 1 is 4. So I can get 6 minus 4. Minus 0. And this is not important, but anyway, I'll continue to show you the working. And this is equal to 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 0 is 0. So I'm going to get 4 minus 0 plus 1. I have 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 0 is 0, so I have 2 minus 0. So you get 1 times 2, 0 times 4, plus 1 times 2. And end up this is 2 plus 2 is 4, and this is 4. Now we can use this to compute the cost product of two vectors using 3 by 3 determinant. So here is one example. Given two vector A and B, where A equal to I minus 2J, and B equal to minus 2I plus 3J minus 4K. Find the vector product A cross B. For computational purpose, A cross B is a 3 by 3 determinant where you write i, j, k in the first row and then component of a which is 1i minus 2j and 0k in the second row and the third row is b which is 2i, 3j and minus 4k then you select the first row you get i, j and k so you have first row, first column, strike out, you get a 2 by 2 determinant, minus 2, 0, 3, minus 4. Then minus, J is in the first row, second column. You strike out the first row, second column, I get 1, minus 2, 0, minus 4. Then plus, K times the times the cofactor in the first row, third column, and get 1, minus 2, 2, 3. Now expand the 2 by 2 determinant, I get 8i, and then this will get minus 4, and then 2 by 2 determinant, and 3 minus 4, get minus 1, so all together, this is 8i plus 4j minus k. So I have a cross b. Having done that, now look at the second part. A unit vector perpendicular to the vector a and b. Now, for this, you have to know that a cross b is automatically perpendicular to vector a and b. So all you need to do is to find a unit vector. So how do you do that? So I have a really A cross B, which is perpendicular to A and B, divided by the length of A cross B. I will get a vector, which is a unit vector, perpendicular to both A and B. Now I have already found A cross B is 8i plus 4j minus k. So I need to divide by the magnitude of 8i by 4j minus k. Now what is the magnitude of 
of 8i plus 4j minus k. This is equal to square root of 8 square plus 4 square plus minus 1 square. And 8 square plus 4 square plus minus 1 square is 81. And square root of 81 is 9. So in the end, the unit vector perpendicular to both a and b is 8 over 9i plus 4 over 9j minus 1 over 9k.